Good afternoon. Today, the topic that will be discussed is the last installment of the ADB tutorials. And here we will be dis demonstrating how to use ADB, basically the commands and such. Before, you have already learned how to use all of the setup commands and how to install ADB, but now we are going to actually use it. So for the first for the first command that I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to do this assuming that you do not have the file path installed. So you would have to navigate to whichever directory you're on. This is basically the exact same process and it does not really determine anything different based on your operating system. So platform-tools where my ADB is located. LS, you can see my ADB is right there. So if we want to check with ADB devices, my device is plugged in. Great. So now we want to pull a logcat, which basically shows all the processes that are running on the device currently. And so if something is having a force quit issue or it's not loading or say for example you're stuck in a boot loop because your kernel is not loading because you made too many poor modifications this is my issue but <laughs> I digress and this is how you do it ADB log cat there we have it and if you want to see something that actually happens I will now unlock the screen and as you can see it says waking up from sleep lock screen displayed and then all of this other information that you probably do not understand. But that doesn't really matter. It just helps you if you need to research a problem since some people, some people who are very tech savvy will understand what some of this means if you do not yourself. So just control C to cancel. And then from this point forward, we're going to assume that you have the file path installed because I do not want to type dot slash ADB continuously here we go first thing is adb shell adb shell just mirrors the basic system structure of your device onto your terminal this is why i really like using linux or perhaps even for that matter osx although i haven't actually used it myself much for anything android system related because they are basic mirrors of themselves of each other actually and anything that you do will make sense on the other operating system so you can basically switch between them easily and there isn't too much of a thought process there but here we go if you want to see what files are in there same command ls you can display everything that is there now if you have root on your device i do i can type su and you can see root right here now this is exact mirror of on Android where if I want root here I can do sudo su and here we go I'm root but we don't actually need to do that so here we have it now the next command that we're going to work with is how to pull a file that is on your d mobile device and I'm going to first pull the system UI so to locate where that is we can become unroot again because we don't need to be and then we can do ls and then if you notice here the system folder so cd system and then type ls again notice up here oh, I scrolled way too far the app folder is somewhere there yeah there we have it the app folder so cd app and you should see systemui.abk. We'll pull that one because if you ever want to modify the color of the clock or something of that likeness, then you can. This is how you do it. You pull systemui.abk, make modifications to the .res file after you've decompiled it, recompile it and push it back to the system, but that's a topic for another time. So we want to pull this so we can do, first we want to check what present working directory we're in, so pwd slash system slash app, now we want to pull that to our documents folder so adb pull is the command and then we do slash system slash app slash system ui dot apk and then we can pull that to our slash home slash the the a pants slash documents whatever your file path is for your particular device whatever it is just press enter 
and wait a few seconds and there you have it it's pulled it's pulled the file and if we check our documents folder we have systemui.apk great um, and now what if we want to pull the Spotify application you might not be able to see because I've already done this one time before so if you I'll delete these so it's more apparent when I actually pull it so now if you want to pull an application that is not in the system but say you download from the Google Play Store you can do that as well but the applications are stored in a slightly different location um, the CD space dot dot takes you one step back in the system tree so if we want to do this um, we can just do CD data slot and then CD app permission denied SU great now CD data slot CD data CD app there we have it okay so now we want to pull this spotify.music-1.apk we can do that so adb pull slash data slash app slash com dot spotify dot music dash one dot apk we want to pull that to our home slash the apan slash documents events folder and this is going to take a little bit longer because I know for a fact that the Spotify application is longer but larger but we can already pull open our file manager and we can wait for this to appear there we go it's there and as you notice 14.6 megabytes opposed to um, the other one which is I think around 2 megabytes so um, that is the ADB pull command you can pull any file that is on the system tree and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now if we want to push files that, to the actual device, we can, but most likely you're going to get a permission denied if you try what I'm about to demonstrate without first doing this command. So I'm going to now demonstrate what you have to do with this. This is the mounting command, which is going to mount your system partition. So if we want to exit, here we go. We're on just a fresh terminal. What we want to do is adb shell su for super user and then we're going to mount this great now the the dev block should be mounted and we should be good to go just look right here and you can type this into your terminal yourself I'm not going to try to repeat it but yeah now wh what we want to do is to push something to a location for example I'm going to push a file to my SD card for example and this is not an external SD card as this is a Nexus 7 which only has the onboard flash storage but we can just do it the same way so CD SD card and right here I just have a few ROMs that I was going to flash a long time ago but never did and there we have it slash SD card now if we want to push something to that location we can just do ADB push slash home slash da pant documents and then I have a full a file called scroll lock as you noticed right here scroll lock dot txt we can simply push that to the SD card so slash SD card and make sure you have a slash at the end or it's just gonna say that's a directory you can't push to it but yeah there you have it now if we type ls my apologies wrong terminal <laughs> ls again you're going to see scroll underscore lock dot txt and so we want to remove that we can as well tx scroll lock dot txt now if we type ls again it's no longer there perfect now with this rm command which stands for re remove you can also do rm space dash rf which is the remove folder and all the contents of that directory you can do that as well but with all of the removing commands be careful what you're removing as you can make your system crash quite easily and yeah that is pretty much it for today thank you for watching and have a nice day